Spark lines or mini charts can be integrated into project dashboards to display big data trends. In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Creating WinLots mini charts, generating line and column spark lines, and analyzing mini charts and finding dynamic data trends. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Stefan is creating mini charts for WinLots. Our case study focuses on a large infrastructure project with five major phases of initiation, planning, design, execution, and project closure. During each phase, multiple change order requests or CORs are submitted. Our project manager evaluates communication between the engineering, procurement, and construction teams, where effective communication is a win and receives a score of 1. Loss is ineffective communication with a score of minus 1, where our client rejects change order requests or we have delayed and costly implementation on site. We can use Excel mini charts to find patterns in project communication management. Go to the Insert tab and click on WinLoss Spark Lines. Then select the data range and specify the location of our chart. We may adjust the cell height for better visualization. Then drag and duplicate for procurement and construction phases. Step 2 is generating line or column spark lines. WinLoss Spark Lines are ideal for visualizing binary patterns of communication effectiveness. However, column or line mini charts are more suitable for representing quantitative data, such as the number of change orders, which can vary in magnitude. This helps track the volume of change orders across phases and allows you to see trends or spikes in numbers. Let's go to the Insert tab and click on Column or Line Spark Lines. Then specify the data range and location range. You can check the markers to highlight data peaks and troughs. Step 3 is analyzing mini charts and finding complex data trends. In the above example, inferencing can be done by correlating the communication effectiveness in green loss spark lines with the number of change order requests in the line chart. For example, the engineering team has demonstrated overall effective communication, especially during phases with a high number of change order requests such as design and execution. The procurement team's performance might need more attention since they have communication failures in three critical phases of initiation, design, and execution. The construction team has mixed results when analyzing big data trends. Although there were communication issues during execution and planning, the construction team handled change order requests effectively during initiation, design, and closing phases. And here it is, an easy and short implementation of mini charts and spark lines using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.